everybody. Um, long time no see, sort of. I did that really short five minute or so video uh, talking about my Disney favorites. And um, since then, this is the first thing I'm actually recording. Uh, I haven't been doing a lot of recording, but I have been doing a lot of prepping. I do have um, two videos uh, that I'm working on right now. One is my Inktober, because I always do an Inktober. And the other one is a, um, a music one, but it's not at the same time. It's both art and music. Um, I am very shy when it comes to singing on camera. I think I've done one other video, and uh, if I can, I'll figure out how to again. I'll put a card to it. Um, but I haven't... That's the first and only time I've sang on video, and it was not that great. Personally, I don't really like it, um, but there were people who did, so I've left it up. Um, but anyway, it's uh, I got permission to do a song from another singer and a cover of it. And um, because I'm so shy, I'm drawing artwork to go in the background while everybody hears my voice so that I'm not so shy about it. Um, we'll, we'll see how that works because new take on trying music. Anyway, um, the point to this video, uh, I have seen all over YouTube these um, videos reviewing the, uh, what is it, charcoal face masks. Uh, I don't know if everybody has the same one or has used the same one, but the one I got, because yes, I'm going to actually review the charcoal face mask. And no, I'm not doing my whole face. For what I've seen, I am not that crazy. <laughs> it supposedly, from watching, it hurts when it gets pulled off. So I'm just gonna do my problem zones, like my nose and a little bit of my cheek area and then like my chin, you see? So for that purpose, I have no makeup on right now. Um, but this is the one, here, let me, I don't know if I can block the light from my computer. Uh, this one is the one that I'm doing. And uh, I just got it, haven't used it, haven't tried it. Um, so you get to experience it with me. Yay. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's just jump right into that. Why not? I gotta take the seal off. He's definitely black. See? He's very black. Very, very black. Um, okay, so you're supposed to put a thin amount on your face. I look like I'm painting myself with black makeup. <laughs> this is very black. I thought it was going to be thinner than that. I don't know why I thought it was going to be thinner than that, but I thought it was going to be thinner than that. Feel really weird doing this on camera. I can't even see. Now it point blank says on the thing to avoid your lips, so I am not going near my lips. It's gonna look really weird but I am not going near my lips. I am very nervous about what would happen if it went on my lips. So. And for future reference, I probably will at some point, if this isn't too bad, do a full face. But for right now, for testing out, because I don't know anything about it other than you know how to put it on <laughs> and the fact that it's got charcoal in it I look like I've got a weird mask on <laughs> okay so yeah this is this is what we're gonna test out this area a literal like piece of pie type area so yeah, I have to now let this dry. So they said that it can take up to a half an hour. So 
I'm not going to sit here talking to you with like this black smudge on my face because it looks really weird. Um, so I will see you when it's dry and time to remove it. Janet? Welcome back everybody. It's kind of hard for me to talk right now because this thing is dry. Um, I'm sure you noticed that it's darker than when I left. Um, as I said in the last clip, when I put it on, I couldn't really tell um, what I was doing and I even leaned in to try to see. It's all dry now, so it, it's ready to come off. But I wanted to tell you that um, when I shut the camera off the first time, I actually went in the bathroom and looked at it and noticed that it was really, really thin. So I put the proper amount on and this is what it should look like when it's dry it literally looks like you know just a black layer of something on your skin <laughs> but uh so i have now got a face cloth that is damp so that when i remove this i can wash this area and i have a lotion i like to use um to moisturize and this time a mirror so i can see what i'm doing <laughs> Um, so yeah, I am going to remove this now. So let's, if I can get it. Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay, it's not, oh, it's not as bad as people made it seem in their videos. Maybe I have a different one than them. I don't know, but yes, it pulls, but, uh, it's not any worse than a normal face mask. Ah. And now, see, there's a black residue line. So you need to wash it off. Voila, no more line. And they recommend lotioning after. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of moisturizer because too much is going to make it like worse than before. And that's it. That's a charcoal mask. Um, something I'm going to start doing often because, well, maybe not um, uh, yep, rain fog. Maybe not just that small an area. Like maybe I'll go a bigger area or a thicker mask because I don't know if that will be better or worse, but I do know that my face feels nice now. Um, so I'm gonna keep up with that and see if maybe we can get things like this to go away so I don't have to hide them all the time instead. So yeah, that would be cool. Um, let's see, I've already told you about upcoming videos. Um, I think, yeah, I think that I like this mask. Um, I think that it's, sorry, my drink just spilled a little. I think that I like this mask. I think that it felt, um, I, I usually use a face mask. I, the one I've been using is a cucumber one. Um, this one, as it dried, it felt like it was um, pulling more, which for me, that's like a tightening bit uh, of the pores and stuff. At least that's what I take it as. It may be, you know, completely me convincing myself it's working, but uh, that's just how I take it. And one has a more of a pull as it dries, uh, more of a tightening effect than the other. 
And while I like both of them, um, I'll probably like combine the way that I use them because why not? You know, instead of doing the charcoal mask twice a day, like it says on the back, um, do it once a day and use my other mask the other day, the other time, the other day. <laughs> I have not been in front of a camera for a while and I have been um, really out of it and uh, having a lot of mental issues and uh, I started a new diet and um, a whole bunch has gone on since the last time that I, I really truly did a vlog and uh, I miss you guys. I miss doing the vlogs and um, hoping this time <laughs> I'll be able to, you know, start them up again, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to make any promises this time because last time I was like, I'm back and then nothing because life was a bitch. <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't know. I hope you liked this video um, and, you know, seeing someone actually peel a charcoal face mask off without going uh, and making all these funny weird noises and sounds and faces. Um, I hope it dispelled some of your fear if you're afraid of them because of that because I was kind of a little nervous because of it. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I, was, I was a little afraid that uh oh my god my nose is itchy now. Um, I was a little afraid that I I was gonna end up like screaming in pain as I'm yanking this thing off but it's not that bad. Um, so I do hope it dispelled some of your fear and, uh, I don't know. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. You know, the comments are alive in, in these, so feel free to comment and, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to like, and subscribe if you want to see when I upload. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.